I think before my mission, I did what most people do is I, I just trusted that these things were true, but I didn't really have the knowledge that they were true. I know I felt that the Book of Mormon was a good thing, and I could feel that it would never lead me astray. But I never really understood why or how or really anything about it. I had never read the the full Book of Mormon before I went on a mission. Um, family scripture study wasn't... My mom tried. <laughs> but maybe because we didn't quite grow up with that those roots, it was very hard to, to get everyone to, to want to read or, you know, and I never went to seminary. My parents never really enforced it because it's just not a, it was almost like we didn't quite understand. Um, but my testimony was based on just good feelings, just I'm sure it'll be all right, that kind of mentality. Um, so I went on my mission, you could say really just, um, just hoping, having faith that it was the right thing just because it felt right. Now on my mission is whenever I, I feel like I gained a much stronger testimony because being in Texas, it's very Bible oriented. There's a lot of Baptist, there's a lot of Methodist, there's a lot of Jehovah's Witness, and they have a lot of questions. And I remember them asking me questions that I had never thought about. And I thought, whoa, wait a second. What am I doing? Like, I don't even know what I'm teaching. I'm just sharing what someone told me to share. I need to find this stuff out for myself. And I remember I started reading the Book of Mormon nonstop. Every chance I got. I woke up in the morning and right after exercising while my companion was showering, I read the Book of Mormon. While I was eating breakfast, I read the Book of Mormon. During personal study, I read the Book of Mormon. During language study, I read the Book of Mormon. During lunch, right before I went to bed, when we were in the car driving, I just, I, I thirsted so much. I just wanted to know. I wanted to be able to look someone in the face and say that I knew that book was true. So I, I searched it more diligently than I've ever searched anything in my life. And I can't remember exactly when I knew, but I remember the feeling I got when I turned over that last page. I could look back in time and see a journey. When I, when I read the first page and I read the last page, I felt like a different person. So I never really, I never really heard a voice telling me this was true, but it was more like when I looked at myself and I saw the change it wrought in me just reading those pages from beginning to end, that is what convinced me. I thought this book surely is of God because it has the power to change people. And, and that's when I knew. I know that the Book of Mormon can change people's natures. It's not just a book full of words. It's an it's a inspired book that if, if taken seriously, can change a person's entire, entire life if we will just let it.